Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Nicktoons games for the GBA. Nicktoons Battle for Volcano Island is amazing. The game takes place on an island, which is broken up into 5 main worlds. You start in a hub and by beating levels you unlock doors to more levels. Each world is broken up into a main level and 3 challenge levels. The main level progresses the plot and sometimes offers an upgrade to one of the characters. The plot is decent and manages to throw some humor into it, though don't expect the plot to impress, because it's standard stuff, it's there mainly just to give some purpose to the game. Each character has their own unique abilities and you will need to use them all to beat the levels. And since you switch characters mid-level and unlock new abilities throughout the game, the game formula is always fresh, though some puzzles might feel hit or miss sometimes. As for difficulty, if you're a casual player, you can breeze through it. It offers a little bit of challenge, but not enough to call the game difficult. And if you are a challenge-seeking individual, then you will find what you're looking for in this game too. And if you're a hardcore gamer, then you will need patience to find all the stars in a level and complete all the challenges to unlock all abilities and find all secret sections. Overall, the game is fast paced and filled with high quality content. It's definitely a must play. Nicktoons Unite is annoying. The game is again a puzzle platformer, but this time the requirements and level designs are horrible. You have to collect a certain number of nano chips to unlock a transporter. There are puzzles where you have to put a character to stand on a platform and put the other character to stand on another. There are switches to activate and in the game there are 4 characters, but during a level you can play only with 2. But the level designs aren't as well made as in LEGO games. No, during a level you have to find a spot where you can swap characters. And here you need to swap Jimmy for Spongebob for example in order to proceed in a level. And this requirement makes the game tedious. Characters also have abilities with energy and if a character runs low on health, usually you need to make a strategic switch before you take another hit and have to go back to a checkpoint. Also checkpoints are hit or miss in some areas. There are places where the checkpoints are nicely mapped and places where the checkpoints are too far spread. Your side character can fall behind and when you go back to that side character, all the enemies you just beat a second ago get respawned when you want to go back to proceed in the level. Overall, it isn't a horrible game to play, but it's definitely mediocre and tedious. Nickelodeon Freeze Frame has a really good premise. It's like those photograph games you've seen on multiple platforms, but it has its own thing going on. In this game, you get multiple objectives in a level, and the more objectives you complete, the easier it is for you in the boss fights. But aside of this single aspect, and the fact that the game looks and moves great, it's repetitive. This is all you do, but with different characters in different levels. I don't have a problem with that, but if you pay for a game, you want the best for your buck. Well, this game has great gameplay, but it's short and repetitive. But still, it's fun to play, so it's your call. It's fun, but it's short and repetitive. I don't think I have to insist on Nicktoons kart racing. I'll just tell you that it has 12 characters, 14 tracks, and gameplay as amazingly fine-tuned as Mario Kart. You get a nice sense of speed, the power-ups are well balanced, the controls are great, the mode 7 technique is nicely done. Basically, if you want to play Mario Kart, but without Mario characters, get this game. Or if you want a sequel to Mario Kart without Mario in it, get this one. The two are of the same caliber, and that's amazing. Nicktoons Attack of the Toybots is a very good platformer, and it's pretty hard to describe the game to you without being accused of being redundant. The game is a mixture of standard stuff for a GBA platformer and other original stuff you've seen in this series until now. 
you have linear side-scrolling levels where you collect stuff for just platform, you get boss battles, a double jump, unique is the cast of playable characters, you get 5 characters and each has a different ability tailored by their personality. Overall, the game is really good. It gives you the tried and true formula, which is fun to play, and the game, while it has some frustrating jumps and could use more polish, it's still great and fun to play. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.